Welcome back to Just Wing It, Forza Horizon 4. Today we are test driving the 2018 Lamborghini Hurricane Performante. As you can see, it has 470 kilowatt power, 600 newton meters of torque, it weighs 1,382 kilograms and has a displacement of 5 0.2 liters. It is also all-wheel drive. This of course is the standard model and we will be test driving it as standard and then later on we will be modifying it. So let's have a quick look at the car itself. I personally think it is quite a nice looking car. I've never really been a fan of Lamborghini though, mostly because you can never see outside the back of it. And it is way too low for normal street driving. This picture, however, it looks like it has pretty decent clearance. But yeah, I still don't think it's going to be too fantastic for normal everyday driving. I'm sure the Hurricane is more suited for the racetrack than the streets. And in all honesty, I really don't like that colour. Today I decided not to do live voice though, mostly because I've been struggling with driving and talking. Every time I press the push to talk button, I lose power to the car and can't steer. So I've now decided to do voiceovers instead. Already I've found a bug with this particular car. As you can see, the odometer is not working. So yeah, that's an interesting little bug. Let's see how it goes on the roads. Right off the bat, definitely not a slow vehicle, and I actually quite like the handling. It seems to very, be very stable. I was kind of expecting understeer, but this car seems to have quite a decent balance. Braking is really good as well. So far I'm actually quite impressed. Today I want to try something a little different as well. In every single one of my videos I have not been using any assistance at all. Uh, driver assistance that is. So today I'm going to test with and without things like stability control and traction control. However with ABS I will be keeping that on as I found the controller I use is not sensitive enough to be accurate with the brakes. So I think that should give us a whole new take on how cars perform because most modern day cars have all these assistants available. Yes, of course you can switch them off. Some it's a simple touch of a button, others takes a lot more 
things to do as we've seen on Grand Tour but yeah I generally prefer to have them off and I think most professional drivers would agree with me on that one Uh, just to make something a bit clear, I do not recognize myself as a professional driver at all. I'm just a normal person doing normal driving. And yeah, this is still just a game. I don't think it's 100% accurate, but it gives you a good sense of what it is like driving these amazing vehicles. One thing I do know is with hardly any actual fear which you experience in the real world you tend to take a lot more chances i doubt i would drive like this in real life that said however i have heard from professional drivers that forza horizon 4 is fairly accurate and quite realistic with the handling how true that is, I honestly do not know. So 331 seems to be the top speed, really not bad at all. And as I've said, the handling is quite astonishing. Really, really impressive handling. At this speed, a lot of cars are struggle with most of the corners here, but this car seems extremely stable. I think that is the main focus of modern day supercars or even exotics. I think they are focused more on maneuverability and braking more than actual top speed. I think they also focus a lot on acceleration. Right, let's turn around. This weather reminds me of the morning at Mabula Lodge when we were having a drive watching the animals. Oh my word, that was absolutely stunning. I do have a video of it. Hopefully I'll be able to pin it up in the top right corner about here. So go and have a look at the video up above and tell me what you think. Yeah, that was definitely a place I can recommend to anyone who loves nature. Sorry about the hectic lag, unfortunately I really do need to upgrade my computer a bit. I've been struggling quite a bit with it lately, especially with only 8 gigs of RAM. Mm-hmm. 
All right, let's play around a little bit with Nort 100, 100 to Nort, and of course, 100 to 200. Also, want to see what it's like cruising as well. For that, I think I'll try and keep the car at 130 if I can. Alright, the RPM seems quite high for the speed, so it's not really a good cruiser, but not bad either. Let's play around with the driver assists and actually turn them on for a change. Let's see how the car performs. Alright, let's test high performance with driver assists on. I already notice a major difference in cornering. It seems a lot more sluggish, it doesn't react as quickly, it seems more stiff.
pull away, however, is definitely quicker. I have to use the handbrake a lot more now just so that I can have more oversteer. Alright, that was actually me losing concentration on the corner. My bad. Braking also seems to be a lot sharper with assists. Okay, let's modify this car and see how fast we can actually get it to go. Alright, now that that is done, let's give her a test. Clearly there is quite a big difference already. The braking is so quick that it's difficult to time the handbrake maneuver correctly, but I think I got it right there.
Due to the hectic lag, they are decided to rather hit the brakes. Alright, their lag totally ruined it for me. Oh well. That's the other thing with simulations is they experience lag sometimes. That's one thing that makes it unrealistic. But yeah, um, in real life, if you were to experience lag, please go see a doctor. Definitely too much understeer to do drifting, but it is generally difficult to drift with four-wheel drive, mostly because of the understeer. You can do it though, I'm just not used to doing it. I must say handling is extraordinary. I don't think it is the best I've ever driven on here before, but it is definitely up there in the top three at least. Okay, let's minimize the downforce and let's see how fast I can really get her.
Okay, 404. That really isn't bad at all. I saw no way out of that one, not this time. Oh, there was hectic lag again, hence why I braked instead of crashed. Let's try that again. So overall performance wise, this is definitely one of the better cars that I've seen in Forza Horizon 4. I'm actually surprised. I'm enjoying it quite a lot. Shall we try one more time with drive assist? I think so. Let's have a little bit of fun, shall we? Please let me know in the comments below if you like this new format where I do the driver assists as well. If not, then I'd gladly go on to the old format. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'm really enjoying the series and we have just managed to reach our 100 subscribers. Today we are sitting at 109 subscribers. So the channel is definitely growing. Once again, Thank you for your contributions.
I definitely found it a lot more difficult to drive with driver assist. That was an owie. And that will do it for today. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click on notifications. Once again, thank you for watching and see you next week.